Hey guys, good morning. We are, actually we started off the day pretty early this morning. We got up, Anderson's been at the house since like 6.45 and what else? We all got up, took Emmy to school, no, to Girl Scout camp, took Maddie to swim and then went home and got some food. So I tried because I didn't eat this morning, which is bad, I know. So I took a chicken sandwich, two clementines, some wheat thins, and a cheese stick. Better than eating out, because it could be worse. And I got a bottled water, and then um, we headed out to run an errand for Andres for work. He had to drop off some paperwork at um, the office, and then we are going to go see my grandma. So my grandma should be getting discharged anytime now. So after here, we're gonna swing by the store and I wanna get her a balloon and some flowers to come home to. And then we'll go over to her house and hang out for a little while. Anderson and Autumn are sleeping, which Anderson's fine. I mean, the big, the, you know, two bigger kids, Maddie and Anderson are, are fine without a nap, but Autumn, I'm so glad she's sleeping. She's been asleep for like 20 minutes, maybe close to 30. And that works out because then if we go hang at my grandma's for a couple of hours, she won't be super, super grouchy. So that's the plan. And then we're going to probably go back home and hang out for a bit, play, have lunch a little later, and then go get to see. Maddie's right, special shout out to the birthday boy. Today is Chuby's 29th birthday. Can you believe that? I know. 29 I saw him this morning and I was like oh my gosh you're almost 30 welcome to the club which is so crazy because I look at him and I don't see him as 29 which I'm sure he doesn't see me as 31 to be better not see me as 31 I hope nobody looks at me and thinks oh my gosh yeah you're in your 30s like that's so sad <laughs> I know the day will come but I don't want it to be now so I told him I was like oh my god just like so sad he's 29 that's just insane to me insane so anyway special shout out to my brother happy birthday chubby i love you so so much you're the best brother ever <laughs> maddie what kind of birthday party did you want um i wanted my little pony oh mom <laughs> i thought she was gonna show the unicorn because the I unicorn is right there they have a my little pony yeah I Oh, they sure do, my little pony. Yeah, We're gonna do this one. Welcome home, Gamma Bob. And then with some regular balloons. For my birthday, I'm gonna have a pony party. Yeah. <laughs> my little pony. Not even the house just walking into it looks different. <laughs> and it smells different. Let her go first, Mom. Okay, Grandma. We're doing the first reveal. I'd say close your eyes, but I don't want you to fall. Okay, so. <laughs> Are you coming too? Yeah. Me too, my me. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. 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 Thank. What do you mean? Thank, thank you. you. Okay, Grandma. Let me go first, and then you come out. Okay. Don't cry yet. We're not even out there. <laughs> okay, ready? Come on out. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> See, I told you. <laughs> I told you, Mom. I told you, didn't I? We got to look at everything. <laughs> Don't cry, Grandma. You can't cry the whole time, okay? <laughs> you got to look at everything, okay? I have to show you everywhere. <laughs> Don't cry. Mom, don't enable her. Huh? Don't enable her to cry. Uh, I do. She's <laughs> Excuse me. Okay. And all this is going to be gone, yeah, yeah. so. Yeah. yeah. So this is what I was talking about. I put okay. your yeah, your coats. <laughs> I put your coats and stuff here so you can easily go through them. So if there's something you know you don't want, yeah. you can bring it inside yeah. if you want to keep it. If you don't, you can leave it here. You want a tour? So you at least. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you. Well, I did have this part, but we all had our part. You helped. Yeah. Everyone helped with everything. Did you have to? Autumn, she's like, please, can I have what's in your fridge? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What, what do you think you're going to get? What do you think you're going to get? 
Want, want some crackers? She's got water inside. You want some crackers? Yes, go sit with Grandma. I told you you wouldn't talk. Okay, go sit with Grandma. I told you you wouldn't. Okay, Grandma, let me give you an official tour, okay? Hello. Okay, Grandma, come in. Oh my God. <laughs> His name tag fell. Oh, yeah. I had it sticking on there. I couldn't visualize it. Why did you go and visualize it? Oh, my God. That dog is so nice. He's going to be 10 shorts that you are not going to wear. Those are like what? For 10 shorts. Hi. I'm the Nothing. I can't. Does it look okay though? Oh, it's good. good. Beautiful. Good. 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 <laughs> now look at your closet. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So we didn't take the door oh, off yet. Yeah. We'll test you and be like, what, now where was this? <laughs> where was that? Don't cover the thing. Up. I know. I thought about that. <laughs> okay. Close your eyes, Grandma. Turn around for a second. Cause I have to take your. That's yeah, unlock Fort Knox, right? Yeah. Did you no. by any chance find a bag of things for for a, a thing that I had for here? It was in a box, that thing I had for my... No, we didn't find a thing. We don't know. Was it... Uh, the only thing I found, I'll show you. It was a box. That, I mean, uh, okay. Yeah. Go ahead, Mom. Come on out. Come on out, everybody. Careful, baby. <laughs> She's okay. Oh, my Hi. God. Hey, so this Dad. even looks a little more cluttered than it will be because we moved just for right now your thing out here. Well, I'm gonna put these up one yeah. Now. yeah, we're getting rid of those. Nin's getting rid of those chairs and the um, spurs chair, and then yeah. the dolly will go back in yeah. the garage. So you'll yeah. have really like so much room over here. And then we'll be good. Oh my goodness! Go daddy, go daddy. That looks just nice. I, I would have never thought of that. <laughs> Really That's why we have Miha. Oh crap! <laughs> oh, wow, looks good, right? Yes. It okay. Does. Okay, so I mean clearly I kind of reorganized this, but the biggest thing, so here I put your extra cups, here the toothbrushes, I tossed every toothbrush you had open out, Okay. so you can use a new one, and then these are those little things I was oh, telling okay. you that I found, so. Oh, you cleaned all that, wow. These are your oils, your cornstarch, wow. mirrors. Medicine. Oh my goodness. So I put all your like vitamin E, your petroleum jelly, all of your thermometers, you saline. Thermometer. <laughs> no, I know, I saw that. I didn't go through them, so you may want to go through them and see which works, which ones you like, whatever. And then all your um, nose stuff, like things to draw up medicine, regular medicine. Wow. And then I moved all of your, I left your oils, I mean not your oils, your moisturizers. This thing is really cool. Where'd you get this from? I don't know. I don't know where we what found it? it. It's a little razor. Oh, it is? Yeah, for your face. I don't know if that's mom's or if it was... I don't know whose it is, but it's really cool. 
So I put all of your lens cleanser here and then your lens wipes here, like the uh, mi micro, not the microfiber, these kind, uh -huh. so you can clean your glasses. And oh, then wow. this is your, um, oh, my pending. <laughs> <laughs> so we have your uh, alcohol peroxide witch hazel, a little first aid kit in case you have to like take it to the kitchen. Don't take anything else, just take this. It has a little bit of everything in it. Okay. Um, some Neosporin, Gold Bond, Itch Cream, and then all various kinds of Band-Aids, alcohol, pads, um, some Calamine in case you have like a sting. Wow. So everything's in one area. And then down here, oh I put all your pads, so like your face brush, all, all kinds of wipes facial cloths, your cotton rounds, some extra bobby pins, and then down here I put all your makeup. Oh wow. So we have makeup back here, makeup, lip stuff, some little sewing Probably kits. Half of that stuff could be thrown out. Probably, I but I didn't, it, yeah, yeah, I didn't throw it. And then I put all your nail stuff here some cosmetic sponges so at least you have it all in one area so if yeah. you're like you know what I, I kind of feel like I should buy more just left my grandma she was so over the top excited and I am so excited like I'm so excited that she loved everything there wasn't one thing that she went into that she was like what'd you do with this or what'd you do with that she loved all of it she cried in every single room oh my gosh it just warmed my heart it made all the hard work and all the effort and all the late days and the long hours and fighting with the kids and it made every single minute of it worth it because now I know she's home and she's in a safe environment and she has so many things to look forward to in her house that she is so excited for and it makes me really excited because even though she's home she still has a long recovery you know like she's on so many different medications she still has therapy that she has to go to and so it's gonna be a long road for her she's still gonna have tons of doctor's appointments like her life is not going to be like it was before so I'm so happy that we could all bust butt and work together and get it all cleaned out for her like it was just very very exciting to see her I don't know how many times I'm gonna say exciting but it was heartwarming I mean just genuinely like the best feeling ever so that's very exciting again <laughs> and I'm glad that she's home and the whole hospital thing is done and over with so Nin and my mom are going to rotate staying with her at the house my grandma's gentleman friend is going to come over and stay with her too and then I told her you know like if I needed to take her to therapies or whatever that I could take her especially now with the girls going back to school soon I'll have a little more free time during the day if she needs to go somewhere I can run her around so good I'm super excited it is 3 39 I'm headed to get Emmy from Girl Scout camp and then we are going to go home I need to figure out what to do for dinner and then she has shark swim team tonight. So I'm going to work out. I have not worked out. I feel like since last week I've had a busy like week. And so I'm ready to get back into the gym now that all the organizing and everything's done. I mean, I did tell my grandma whenever she got settled, I could come back and help her with a few little things that were left. Like she has a couple of closets that haven't been organized and her drawers and things like that. But other than that, her whole house is pretty organized. So that's very exciting. I'm improvising on my lettuce wraps tonight because I do not have any cabbage. I just have regular lettuce, which is too flimsy to cook down. I mean, I put an entire zucchini um, like a handful of carrots, three celery sticks, and half an onion in here, and you can barely see any of it. So, yeah, this is one pound of beef. I actually have another pound of beef over there, but this is just going to be for dinner for us tonight, and then for Andres, when he gets home, just for him to have like a little snack. Typically, I cook two pounds of beef, and we don't eat almost all, of, not all of it, but like one and a half. We're at like one and a half pounds, but because he's not here, the one pound will do us good. I cook it in, uh, simmer it up in some soy sauce and I'll put some sweet and sour just to dress it on top and then some nuts. Now obviously if you have a nut free home, 
you would skip the nuts. And then normally I would also put in cabbage, but I don't have any. And it is almost grocery shopping day. It's been a little over two weeks since I last went to grocery shop and I'm running low on fresh stuff. So I promised myself that I would buy enough for two weeks and then I would go to the store and buy enough for two weeks again. So I'm gonna have to grocery shop at some point tomorrow or Friday or Saturday, one of those three days before I work on Sunday so that we can, sticking in the microwave is so much easier to talk, but that way we can have fresh foods and things starting next week. So lettuce wraps it is. I already cut up my lettuce over here. Little girls are watching TV. Emmy's working on a project and then they're going to be eating dinner soon. It's almost after, it's up, a little after five, so it's almost time to get going again. I feel like I haven't even been home at home at all today. The drama never ceases to amaze me. We are at the emergency room because little Miss Emmy over here tried to do a backflip into the pool during shark swim team and she hit the cement. Immediately they came to come, they came, her coach and the head lifeguard came to get me off of the YMCA floor, brought me over there and just to make sure she was okay and everything, she has a huge goose egg on the side of her head. And luckily she's feeling fine. She didn't go unconscious. She's not seeing spots, nothing hurts her. She's oriented, she seems okay. But just to be on the safe side, I mean, it's it's a good size. So I rushed over here. I rushed to uh, my mom's, luckily my mom's not very far, but I dropped off the kids with Nin, the little ones, so I could rush her to urgent care so we could get it checked out and make sure nothing, you know, nothing's there because I could tell blood swelled up in the area and it's right here on her temple and I'm just like, Oh my goodness, nothing else can go wrong for a little while. My poor baby, she just, you wanna say hi? Yeah, or no? Yeah. Guys. Let me see a big old goose egg. You all see that? It's actually, the swelling has gone down significantly. Cause when I first went to go get her, it was like huge. Right. Yes, we got to end the summer off with a bang, right? So we need to make sure she's cleared because she has a swim meet this weekend and she has Girl Scout camp. So that's another thing. I want to make sure she doesn't have any restrictions or I shouldn't, you know, leave her at home. I mean, when Autumn hit her head, she was fine. It, it just was swollen and it went away and she says she feels fine. And luckily she can actually tell me when she's feeling something, but because after she fell, and hit her head she started to get a little dizzy which is normal but i just want to make sure so here we are i thought i didn't care to take care of things crisis averted once again she does not have a concussion no type of fracture i mean head wounds are really scary just because you don't always know what's going on but on top of that they always look really scary because they're so everything's just so surface like so I mean you guys saw when like last year the year before it was last year year and a half ago when my mom fell and hit her head on the concrete and she got the big goose egg on her bump on her forehead head wounds are super scary because you never know like I said what's going on under the surface behind it but so I just wanted to get it checked out just to be on the safe side he gave me precautions. He did a whole bunch of tests on her and thing and and you know all of that and gave her an ice pack. And I actually really liked this pediatrician, but he said that she should be fine. Just you know, no, because I was like, she has camp tomorrow. She has a swim meet on Saturday. Like, I might should I hold her back from any of this stuff? And he said, as long as she doesn't rough house, that she should be fine. But if she starts showing any symptoms of anything, then definitely you know go back to the ER. So. Yeah, she's got a nice pack and we have some stuff at home that we can alternate. The swelling's gone down quite a bit and she does have a, a tough head because she's hit it before, but this was like smack on concrete, which is what made me more nervous than anything. So yeah, now we are headed to go get Maddie and Autumn. Oh my gosh. And poor uh, mama, she was like, 
not mama, Emmy, not my mama, you know what I mean, because I call mama, mama, but Emmy, she was more upset at the fact that she had a missed swim team. I'm like, what's wrong? Or, as soon as I got there, I was like, what's wrong? Are you okay? Like, do you hurt? Does anything hurt? Can you see? Do you know your name? you know your birthday? What date it is? You know, all these things. And she's like, I just want to go back swimming. I'm like, oh my God, you have this huge knot on your head and you just want to go back swimming. She's such an adventurous girl. But we learned our lesson, right? So I told her, I said, uh, you're not going to Girl Scout camp if you're gonna be messing around, playing. Like, I have to trust that you're going to be good because I can't, I don't wanna go through this again for roughhousing. So she was, she promised me she would be okay. So we'll see how she feels in the morning and see what it looks like in the morning and kind of go from there. And then she already knows that we're not to be playing around the pool like that again, which I've actually never had to have that discussion. We've never had, this type of issue with flips and stuff off the side of the pool so hopefully that was a hard lesson learned and she knows not to act silly around the pool again because I told her you know it could be super super bad next time she knows so she'll get to perk up and feel a little bit better when we go home just was sad that she had to miss it for thing but you doing okay now I think it's what? I think my bones going down a little bit, but so far I'm feeling better. Okay, good. So we're gonna go home, go get these girls, go home. And needless to say, I didn't, I didn't get to work out. I was in the middle of working out when the coach and the head lifeguard came to get me. So we'll try again maybe tomorrow. And I had my headphones on too. I'm glad he remembered what I look like because I don't check her in for swim team, he just knows that I, like this last few times I went to go uh, work out while she was swimming and or practicing. And so he, luckily he knew what I looked like and he found me right away. Because in the kids club, they, you like check them in with your phone number and so they can send you a text message when there's an incident. But with swim team, they don't because they're older. I guess they figure they can just go find their parent. I don't really know. So thank goodness it wasn't anything worse. Like I said, one more crisis averted. Where are you going? You okay? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm okay. Good girl. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow. And Dad, good night. See you tomorrow. Boop, boop. Let me see your head. Come here. Gotten smaller. Yeah, it looks a lot better. You can kind of see it. It's all right here. And so far, it's not giving me a pain. It doesn't. It feels okay. I mean, it looks, oh my God, when I first saw it, it was like out here, like I could cup it. It was huge, but now it's not nearly as big, so. That's the ice. Can me, Mommy? Yes. Um, can, I, can we maybe please look through our backpacks now that I did the video? Yeah, I told them they could not look through their H-E-B backpacks until I filmed and got it approved by H-E-B to upload it. Tell me to go? Mm-hmm. Autumn stuff, Autumn stuff is the one that's all over the floor. I put y'all stuff back in your backpacks, Mommy, okay? I got some mm -hmm. green glittery good here. What? Um, I actually, I'm gonna kind of split it up, however. But you can see what's directly in your backpack. Go ahead. I'm so excited that I have this color I got Maddie, I couldn't remember. Is that the uh, mini that you chose, or did you choose this ma mini? That one is? Okay. Oh my, oh my gosh. gosh. Look what I got for my crayon. So <laughs> Color changing. Pencil pouch? Look what I'm I got. I'm definitely going to have a good year. It's painting, mommy. I see it. <laughs> but when I want oh, my kids to go to my paint, I'm going to paint. This is just what I need. Oh my gosh. Is this colored? Um, what, what is it called again? 
construction paper. It's my birthday! Oh I see him. Oh my gosh. A bending roller? I'm definitely gonna have one. Mommy, look what I got. I see it. It's this a lunchbox for your snacks. Yay. Oh my gosh, oh my look, gosh. I got a pair of scissors. Highlighters? I'm definitely gonna. See, Mommy, I got a glimmer. I am gonna have fun this year. Oh my gosh. This is always what I wanted. A sharpener. <laughs> and definitely my children. Love oh, school yeah, supplies Toledo. just as much as I do. It is so I amazing. Toledo. Toledo. Folder. I can store all my pictures. Yeah. Like, all my stuff. Paper. Paper. Oh. My gosh. Those are, those are erasers. No, those are erasers, Mama. Huh? I found their pencils. What's this, Mommy? They look like... <laughs> it looks like a planner. Uh, that's erasers. Oh, that's erasers. Mommy, look at this. 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 Look yeah, so what I'm going to do is the stuff that was in your backpack, if you a need calculator. it for school, Look. I see them. No if you way. need them for school, we're going to put it in your school supply it's lit good. in your uh, area. Calculator. Nobody's listening to me. Sarah, Mommy, you're having too much fun. <laughs> Look what I got. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Look, Look what I got. A calculator. Oh my gosh. This is so cool. Mommy, look how many pencils I have. I see. Mechanical pencils? I've always wanted mechanical pencils. Yeah, but unfortunately you can't take those to school. But I'm lucky that I have a pair of scissors and pencils. But you can keep those at home. <laughs> yes. Isn't that cute? Yeah, they are so adorable. Alright, let me feel it. Ah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is amazing. And look how much room I can store in my backpack. I know. Those are cool backpacks. I'm checking the little ones. Look, see how mommy, much room I can I got, store. I got my own thing for my desk, and then I put it on. So, oh my gosh, there's a lot of room to store. Even more room than. I got the same thing as Sissy. Sissy, look, I got the same thing as you. Yeah. Cool. Let's see what's in my lunch. How much room I have in my lunchbox? It is so cool. Is it photo for my Yay! Thank you, mommy. No, I didn't. I didn't do it. Say thank you to thank H E B. Thank you, H E B. Now I have enough room for everything. Oh, okay. all the way. I love this so, so much. Room for everything. That's pretty cool, right? And they sent us all the snacks. Oh. Did you see all the snacks? Yeah. We got chips. Look what we got. Chewy bars. Chewy bars. Animal crackers. Can we can we one of these before? No, <laughs> those are for lunches. Wait, can I see that? Yeah, those are actually really good. Mommy had one the other day. <laughs> um, and all that stuff is autumns. And then the tissues will go for you guys, too. Look, aren't those cute? Yeah. These are so adorable. Mommy, thank you, H-E-B. Thank you, H-E-B. Very much. Yeah. <laughs> Very much. I can't believe I finally get